previously on Project Zomboid. But I think we'll uh, probably just head out to do some more scavenging, look for some more jerry cans. Alright, so we searched all this stuff before, but uh, pretty sure we left behind some jerry cans. I'm just gonna do a quick once over. Oxygen tank, gray bricks. Maybe I was uh, mistaken. Thought we had left some more stuff behind here. I th had a feeling that we had left some jerry cans behind somewhere. Oop toy, but I must be must be misremembering. Okay, let's uh, let's head home. I'll drop this stuff off. We'll come back in the morning and uh, continue on with a little bit of looting. All right, so we're gonna try and hit up a few more houses down here. Uh, the zombie population is quite a bit higher down here, though, as we discovered the last time we came down. Okay, let's go up to this house. Is this the one that are these the two that we searched last? Yeah, it must be. There's a bunch of zombie bodies on the ground. Ooh, a pipe and some electronics. Okay, a garbage bag. Oh, nice. Uh, an electrician of some sort lived here. Remote controller and a craft timer. I think this may be a good time to uh, end this episode. So let's quickly, while we have a moment, check our leg. See if this is healed up. Remove the splint, please. Oh, and it is healed. Fantastic. No more broken shin. Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid. Picking up here with JT, uh, shortly after where we last left off. It is, what did it say there, August 22nd, 7.30 a.m. Uh, we're just at the hotel, uh, just down the road from the, the bridge. We're going to continue looting the south end of the bridge today. I can actually step it on the, on the deck here. And I've just dropped off all of our materials from last episode's looting session. Uh, I figured maybe we can use this little corner room as a, a loot drop-off point while we're looting uh, the south side of the river, instead of running all the way back each time to the base. Uh, so I haven't been back to the base, haven't uh, made any cheese or slaughtered any cows, like I mentioned uh, at the end of the last episode, that I, that's something I want to start doing. Uh, so we're going to just be living off of uh, some chips and some sardines uh, for the time being. Still trying to get our weight uh, to break 80 kilograms, we're at 72 and a half right now, so uh, we're doing we're in pretty good shape here. Let's just throw this tin can away. Oops. Dump off this aluminum. And these electronic scraps. Eat that can of sardines. Drop that off. Put our splint away. We don't need to be carrying that anymore. Of course, our our uh, shin, our fractured shin, is now healed. That did uh, heal at the end of last episode. Uh, so as you can see, we are now back to full health after uh, just shy of a month. I think we took it off August 21st, and uh, we broke our foot on the 26th of July, I think? So it took uh, about the same amount of time as our fractured foot uh, around our first year of survival back on the farm. So we're heading back down across the bridge to where all the zombies, where the zombies roam. Gonna go kill some more zombies, hopefully get some more good loot. Keeping our eye out for more jerry cans, of course. I've turned on uh, some of the 3D models for the zombies. Uh, so hopefully that should look better for you guys instead of the pixelated zombies that we have been facing. For the last little while. Ah. There's actually uh, several that just came over the bridge there. So we'll try and fight our way over there. It's only 9.30, so we got lots of time to oh, <laughs> be killing zombies. Um, do I have any beta blockers on me? I do. Let's take those. Okay, well... We're using our machete at the moment, so we can swing and uh, do the uppercut stab. I don't know, there's just a lot of them. I'll go for some swings for now. Might be able to get a few kills that way. There we go. So I'm not sure if you guys, you probably have seen the, uh, the Mondoid for this week. Uh, but it looked pretty cool. They've got uh, a video up of the new animations and 
Uh, some new clothing for the zombies. The zombie models. Looks very cool. Lots of professional dressed zombies. I saw some, I think there was like construction workers, there was like a park ranger, a police officer. Uh, I definitely suggest go checking that out. If I remember, I'll leave a link down in the description. So I'm looking forward for, to that being implemented in the I Will Back Up My Saves branch. It'll look pretty cool. It, uh, it'll make the game look like that in combination with uh, just the the two times graphic overhaul that we've had recently. It's big changes for the game, visually. Pretty cool. Hopefully it means we'll be uh, one step closer to having NPCs in the game. Something that everyone's been waiting for for a while. We've also had a, a small update to the I Will Back Up My Saves branch. I'm not sure what version we're up to, 34. 13, 13 or 14, something like that. Uh, so you might be able to tell, you might not be able to tell, but uh, on the left hand side are uh, icons here. Uh, they are now, uh, they, they're no longer pixelated. Uh, they're kind of HD like the rest of the graphics. HD quote unquote. Higher resolution. So that's cool. Uh, there's also a few other um, small changes. But yeah, I definitely uh, suggest... I'll, I'll try and remember to leave a link to that as well. To all those changes. But good to see that progress is still being made. Oh man, I don't really feel like... <laughs> just killing zombies today. I kind of want to get to some looting. Let's head down here. Maybe we'll go behind here so I can lose the zombies. Let's try and get to a house. If we go far enough, far enough back here, we'll find some houses. A little bit peckish. Have another bag of chips. Another fatty bag of chips. There we go. Now, did we check this place? I think so. One of the other uh, fixes in the recent update was supposed to be these question marks, but... Obviously, we've still got some. I don't think we made it into this garage, did we? I wonder if I can get inside without them noticing. There are a few there. Damn it. Damn it. I don't think there's a window on this back side. Let's try this one more time. No. No, and they heard. Alright, don't have time. Don't have time for that. That nonsense. Uh, we'll head up here so they come this... Ooh, damn it. <laughs> I'm attracting everyone. A burnt out house. Uh, we might be able to quickly... Sneak in here and see if there's anything to grab. Doesn't look like it. Pretty burnt out. I could check this garage though. Alright, let's take these guys out. Get right into the action. Oh my god. Her face was all sorts of bleeding. Lots of corpses, not much as far as loot goes. Check out this garage. There's a couple of crates in there. Oh, more than a couple. We got a few. Some more thread. Grab that. Some more wire. Empty sandbag. We could use one of those since we've lost a few from uh, accessing fertilizer on the ground instead of picking it up. Oxygen tank. Don't need that. 
Uh, we're kind of looking for more welding gas tanks, if anything. All right, that's it there. Let's head down this path here. There's a group of, uh, is that three or four? Looks like four. And we got a couple in there. 2.50 in the afternoon. Got about three or four hours left to search. Guys, out so they don't make a big noise, big stink. All right, what do we got here? A uh, box of nails, two boxes of nails. Okay, some saws and hammer to smelt down for steel. More nails. It must have been a carpenter who lived here. Oh yeah, I think he had more than enough uh, nails and saws. They both fell down. We'll see if there's any medical supplies in here. Take your key. We've got some bleach we could always use. That's about it, though. Now let's just fill up our water. That. And we'll fill up this other one. Have maybe a chocolate. Eat that. Hopefully, we can find some more food here. Uh, garbage bag, we'll take that. I don't even know what we need garbage bags for anymore. Don't know. That's a pretty big group down there. Try not to alert the whole group. Open sesame. Hop over. I'm not sure if there's any uh, two story buildings on this side Oops. of the map. If there is, we'll just sleep down here. To have a feeling we might have to run back to the hotel. Hand vacuum can be dismantled. Don't need flip flops. Got lots of belts back home. Oh, and uh. Zombies were wearing like hats and stuff in that uh, video I was talking about earlier, so <laughs> Looking forward to that. Oh my god. Look at this We got a hunting rifle and a bunch of ammunition And a shotgun Wow this I don't think this house was even boarded up and a varmint rifle Very cool Usually it's only the boarded up houses that have all this cool stuff Disinfectant. Uh, grab a bath towel. I'll grab the washcloth too. I think we can use that for a crafting recipe. Some apple juice. More water. Mostly taking it for the bottle for juicing. And we'll grab all that stuff, I think. And we'll grab all that stuff. And that stuff. Some sunflower seeds. Let's go ahead and eat that. It's got some fat content. Keep heading down. I should probably leave some of these doors open so I know I've been here. So I am not all that familiar with this part of New Denver. Just a couple lone zombies here. anyone else let's try and get this shed out of the way nice cool shotgun shells uh, not enough for a box test tube brush medium battery 
Flashlight, ammo, yeah, we'll take all that stuff. Still not sure what you can use the 9 volt batteries for. I don't know if I've ever found a use for that. Can't recall. This might be a decent place to sleep, it seems to be far enough away from all the action. Another garbage bag. Hopefully there's some food in here. More bleach, more hairspray. Take some soap with us, take our bath towel. Our pack's almost full anyway. Uh, so we'll, I guess we'll wanna head back soon. Regardless, if we fill up before it gets too dark, we'll just run back. Headphones can be dismantled. Calligraphy, sausage making, got all that stuff. It's starting to get kind of dark now. Uh, we'll take another pillow. Should I start? Maybe I should start collecting hats and stuff for a character to wear once that update is included into the test branch. There we go. Let's eat some chips. Eat a couple bags. Grab this stuff. A water bottle. And the matches. Take the seeds. I'll put the spam in our main inventory. That and the canned potatoes for eating in the morning. Grab those items. Another steak knife. Baking pan. We got lots of baking pans now, I think. Chocolate filled donut. Uh, we'll just grab that. Hydrocraft items, so it won't give us any nutritional value. Nothing in the freezer. I'll leave that hammer, cement this flashlight, take the sugar. Nope, we are full. Okay, we got room in our fine leather pack. We'll start tossing stuff in there. Box of MREs. And a radio to dismantle. Advanced foraging. Nothing there. Okay, well, we got a little bit, well, not really that much room. Let's just head back to the hotel. We'll drop this stuff off. We'll come back for one more run through. So we're essentially full. I've got three units left in the, the backpack, but it's not that much. Let's avoid that group. Head up here. Back towards the bridge. Quite dark. Ten after nine. Avoid that group down there. Alright, should be good to uh, edit here. Don't think there'll be any problems getting back to the hotel. We'll cut back in the morning, do one more looting run on the south side of the river. Okay, next day we are back on the south side of the river. Just making our way back into the area where we left off. Dropped everything off at the hotel room. Uneventful night. It's 9.40 a.m., so a little bit of a later start. We should be able to get uh, uh, several homes knocked off. I think this is the uh, place where we left off. Yeah. Looks like it. So we'll just follow this path around. Looks like it heads back down south. Yep, to a main road. Awesome. Okay. So let's see here. I'm sure it goes out to, a, there must be a place out there, but let's stick to this paved road. That's crumbling away. Take these guys out. go. Two down. Nothing on them. Try and be quiet. Looks 
like a good house to start off at. Right here. Let's hop that fence. Get past that tree. Nice, it's open. Uh, it says it's empty, even though it looks like there's books there. That's empty. Down jacket. Storage closet here, that's empty. Uh, dish towel, grab that. Let's go ahead and eat that. No, actually, it's a Hydrocraft item. Just take that. Uh, forks and spoons, I guess we'll grab for smelting. Same with the cooking pot. Uh, pickled tomatoes. Is that Hydrocraft? I think. Oh, pretty empty house. Another barbecue with another propane tank there. Try and find something a bit closer to home to bring back. That's a bit far to haul a propane tank. Talkie, dismantle that. Take a look at our skills. Electrical is slowly getting up there. Uh, let's see, 5,654 kills. Two years, 17 days, 73 kilograms. Do we have any other food items we can eat? Potatoes, let's open that. This will be our lunch. Just dump that stuff off. Can of potatoes. Potatoes. Some more sheds down here. So many sheds in New Denver. So many. Hydrogen tank. Uh, we have quite a few power cords. I'll take one more. Let's grab that hard hat too. In anticipation of us someday being able to wear them. And we can play dress up with JT in the apocalypse. Apocalypse dress up. Uh, another metal detector, some steel pipe. That's good. An umbrella, we can smell that. Nitric acid for our dynamite. And that's about it for there. Ooh, that's a big group. Oh, and uh, we finally made, is this the place? Yeah, this is, if you remember way back when we first got to New Denver, I had mentioned a location that would be a suitable base. This is it, this little compound is completely walled off Oh no, it looks like there's a, a small fence. Hmm, okay. Not as secure as I thought. Or maybe this isn't the one I was thinking of. Or maybe it's changed. No, I think it still is. Looks like there's still a big fence all the way around. Yeah. So this place is completely surrounded by a tall fence. Uh, so if we could build a staircase up on this side, sheet rope down, and then build a staircase on the other side, get rid of the one on the outside, uh, then we would have a, a completely secure location that zombies wouldn't break down uh, the pre-built walls. So that's that location there, guys. That would be pretty cool to set up there. That would actually be a good place to have as like a loot drop off for the south end of town. Be right in the middle of things. So I might, I don't know, I'm tempted to actually just do that right now. Build a staircase over top. How many uh, planks do we need for, we need enough for two staircases. So let's unpack our hammer. Staircase, eight planks. So if we got 16 planks, uh, let's see, plus say Three fence panels, that'd be another six, 22. Uh, that's 
eight logs. It'll be about four trees. We could do it. We could do it. Oh, wait, there's a door here. It's locked. Okay, so that is one entry point the zombies could come through. Let's uh, get rid of these zombies. I'm going to try and secure this fenced off area. We've been here for 30 episodes in New Denver. And we finally got to uh, one of the locations I talked about. <laughs> Long time. Does look like there are a, quite a few zombies inside there. Alright, let's get out our axe. Quit primary. Start chopping down some trees. So there's two, what did I say? We need eight logs. Right, and then this one. We'll cut down one more just for good measure. Make sure we have enough planks. Alright, let's saw those up. Good. Saw those up. Good. These, it's getting a little bit late, so we'll have to do this fast. Saw those up. Those. Alright, let's get our knife back out. Put that away. Uh, we'll get some sheet ropes here. Did six. We won't need that many, but. Okay. So we've got six planks there those up pick up those six or four let's build a staircase uh, right there oh wait a minute let's do it away from where those zombies are um down in the corner maybe Maybe do it down here. I'll do it right there. All right. There's our staircase up. Let's build a fence. Um, okay, so we're gonna need one here to sheet rope down from into the compound. Here we go. Uh, let's grab a. Um, yeah, we'll grab a few more planks. Might cut down one more tree too. Might add some extra fence panels just in case. Uh, let's put the rest of these into our pack dog, so I don't have to come back down again. There we go. A bit hungry. What do we got to eat here? Uh, no base game food at the moment. All right, there comes a zombie. Machete out. Take her out. Uh, whoops, where am I going? Kill him. And her. Let's go up. Build a, a fence. No, not shelves. One fence right there. Add a sheet rope there. Build a Wooden fence here. Add 
guys she over there now I can get rid of the stairs let's pull out our sledgehammer yeah I'm not sure why I thought I needed two staircases this is this will do the trick here uh, will this get rid of that one oh it will um Hmm. Is it gonna get rid of the uh, top floor here, or does it just get rid of the stairs? I can't remember. Wooden floor. Let's put one more there. And we'll do a, another fence. I think it'll leave it, whoops. But uh, just to be on the safe side. We're gonna do this. And we'll add, uh, let's take this one off for now. We'll put it here. Okay. So let's climb over. I'm gonna go grab a few more sheet ropes. So I really don't wanna break another foot. All right, I'm gonna have to just eat something cause I'm hungry. Even if it's hydrocraft food. Sheet rope there. Okay. Let's go destroy that. Good. Um, I want to see if I can tell if the floor is still there. Zombie coming. Get our machete back out. Can't quite tell. I th think it's still there. I think the floor is still there if I climb up. We'll have to take a chance. A few zombies heard us destroy that. Uh, let's put the sledgehammer away. So that's weighing us down quite a bit. Or is it? There we go. Let's toss that away. Climb up here, hopefully I don't fall down and break a foot. And yeah, we got both of those there still. Perfect, okay, let's add sheet rope there. We're just gonna spam this area with sheet ropes. Add sheet rope there. And I'll need one more to put there, but that's fine. All right, so let's, it's quite dark. Hoping there's not too many zombies in here. We'll unlock this no, I guess we can't. We need to find the key. Alright, let's try and clear this area out. Through the maze of question marks. So maybe I can just sleep. It sounds pretty quiet over here. I'll try and just sleep in this house. As I say that, a zombie comes to the door. Oh my god, it's kind of dark. Are any windows here? one here <gasps> it's so dark oh my god it's dark um push her and stab her okay let's just sleep <laughs> let's just sleep here let's close this window Alright, sleep. Eight hours. They're not thumping on our door, so we'll be fine. Just gotta get there we go. Much better. Clear this. Huh! Almost got us. Damn bathroom zombies. Alright, no one in there. Where am I hearing all this thumping? Next door? Oh, 
Alright, so this is the fence. So we're safe there. Let's try and clear out this place. And then we'll end the episode. Eh, let's not go that way. How about not? Lots of question marks here. The land of question marks. No one in there. Bit of a maze. Alright, no one in there. Actually, let's just check for food. So I do need to eat something. Our uh, health is, uh, our weight is 73.6. No, that won't be anything in there. Okay, lots of these uh, little pulpits everywhere. Interesting layouts. Basal bed. Where am I gonna find a kitchen? I need a kitchen, guys. There were quite a few zombies over here. Somewhere. Broken window. Wow, lots of the stuff in here. But what I really want is some food. We'll search through this stuff later. Let's find a kitchen. A tent in here? Odd. A couple tents. Strange. Right, here's a kitchen. A kitchen with no food, though. Alright, so where all these zombies go that were in here? I swore we saw a few. And they were trying to get in. Oh, they broke through that door. That's unfortunate. We can build one there, though. So it's not entirely safe, but... Our level 10 walls should hold out long enough. Let's just unpack some of our planks. We'll put a wall here instead of a door. Ah! Where did you come from? So that answers our question of where they all went. Ah, get out of here. <laughs> ah. What was that spit around? Stab JT or give me a heart attack. That was the most inaccurate attack ever. Alright, do we have enough now to build a wall? Uh, build a wall. Put it down. There we go. Oh, thank God. So our only other weak point is this door here, which is locked. Let's just go clear out those zombies. Oh, damn it. <laughs> yeah, you put a, a wall there, no miss. Up the sheet rope. Up the sheet rope, down the sheet rope. Get out your knife. Machete. There we go. It'd be good if you could find the key for this place. Maybe one of them has it. Maybe or maybe not. Oh well. Alright, so this is going to be our loot drop-off spot for the south of town. I think it should work out pretty well. Pretty good. Uh, we're quite hungry. I'm just going to eat something to get rid of the, the Moodle. Uh, we actually don't have a lot. 
But I gotta go find, go out and find some more uh, base game food. Or else we're gonna start dropping in weight again. But I think that'll do it for today, guys. We will uh, start searching through all these boxes in the next episode. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like button. Feel free to leave me a comment below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And until next time, we'll talk to you all later. Thank you.